Turn 112, March 28th, 1942. Let's see what kind of more damage uh, Lodrick does to us. He's everywhere. Oh, now he's going for weight, too. Hey, all righty. Got a hit. Can't quite catch that. Is that a five or a six inch gun or CD gun? Four guard units. He must have these guys split up all over the place. He shouldn't have that many guard guard units. Of course, he he spots me. Five inch. Hey, right, got a couple hits on some AKs. There we go. I think they were mostly empty by now because we didn't get any uh, Japanese casualties. Float planes. <clears throat> Should be no damage here. Yep. Still see a cloud over it, so maybe we'll maybe we'll get lucky and get some more uh, storms. Thirteen hits out of ninety-two bombers, not bad for us.
come on, get him, guys. Really? Are my guys even gonna attack here? Obviously not. I think we're losing this fight. Yep. I think we've killed one and we've lost two or three. Poor performance. Poor performance on that sweep. I wondered when he was going to come over and start taking these. All right, here we go. Yep, he'll kick these guys' ass. Yep, they both ran. Oh, not the way I thought they would. But he did not pursue, so that's good. Yeah, see, now we're going to start getting in trouble when he's just pursuing us. These units are just dead. I'm not going to be able to get him out of there. He's just too quick. He bombs me, and I can't bomb him because I got nothing in, nothing with any kind of range. One unit surrendered at least. Yep. Damn tanks. We can't hurt them. Puka Puka. He 
should he should take wake. I haven't reinforced it at all. Hello, all you poor GIs and Marines. This is Orphan Anne at Radio Tokyo, bringing you some hot music and another blow to your morale. Today, our high command announced that the ever-victorious forces of the Japanese Empire have captured Wake. One to one odds and pretty even losses. All right. All right, we're gonna expand some bases, do run run through production. When that's done, we'll pause the video, grab some saves, grab some data, come back and go through a little bit of an after action here. Alrighty, another beat up, another turn to get beat up as the Allies here. Um, score wise, Japan went up 334 points. We dropped 12. In the air, we lost one to Ops, five to air to air, because you know our hurricanes are shit. He lost two to air to air, four to Ops. Let's go and take a look. Alright, we lost six hurricanes, five to air to air, one to Ops, so that's five gone pilots. He lost four Oscars, two air to air, two to ops. He also lost a Sonya and a Lily to ops. We went over reinforcements last turn. So let's go ahead and go straight into combat reporter. At sea, um, we sent a sub out there. And as soon as he arrives, he gets attacked. Or he is sighted, but no, nothing was inflicted. So, you know, we don't, we don't attack back or nothing. We just sit there and let them find us. Because that's what, you know, our subs do. On the ground, there's a bunch of uh, action. He uh, landed at Wake Island and took it. He took a bunch of these little little bases. Um, up in China, he beat the hell out of some of our troops. Here, he attacked two units, destroyed one. Bombardment, a little bit of damage here. In uh, Australia, he attacked our fleeing base units on... Hammered him 63 to 1, pushing pushing the one out of the heck, but luckily he was not uh, he did not pursue, so we might have enough time to maybe try to get away. Up in uh, Ceylon, his uh, tanks that uh, pursued last time were right on us, so they attacked and they mauled us. Um, I can't remember if one of them. Nope, I don't think no, those. I don't can't remember if those. No, I don't think those those pursued. I. I, I either. So we're in a little bit of clear there. And down in New Zealand, he attacked, got one to one odds, and pretty even losses. Amphibious, you saw he landed at Wake, he landed at Puka Puka, Ketapang, and he landed at Broom up there on the north coast of Australia. I was wondering how long it's going to take him before he starts grabbing these little, these, these little bases. They've been empty for quite a while. In the air, it was all him. He bombed uh, some some airfields at Banduing. He swept several trips, swept Chest Christchurch. Um, we bombed uh, Geraldton at night, no damage, and we swept J Jaffna during the day with uh, with a unit of uh, of hurricanes at twenty thousand feet, and they performed. Crappy. They really did. We lost six. He lost four. Not the uh, not the numbers I was looking for. I mean, he had a few more of it than us, but we had altitude and 
better airframe, I'm, 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 I'm assuming. So I wasn't happy with, with the way that, that worked out. And then he bombed some fleeing units a couple different places. Just the same old same. Signal intelligence, let's see. Yep, nothing, nothing. 111, 160, huh? Off the coast of New Caledonia. Hmm, all right. Uh, into Tsushima, all right, let's see what we got here. Yep, nothing special. Tank two, Colombo, Bandoline, yep. And the way my guys are going, he'll probably take all those bases. All right, we're going off a, a hurricane. Ten, uh, ten tons of supplies were transferred. No supply, no supply, no supply. We changed the name on one of our bomber units. And a, the New Zealand tank unit that was supposed to appear at Auckland did not because we don't have the base. I need to check and see if it's going to reappear somewhere else or if we're just screwed. Task forces... Submarines being spotted and such. Sightings. Repairs. We still got those two ships that need repairs. Kylie down for maintenance. Japanese snooping all over us. Reconning the hell out of China and, uh, and, uh, you know, so pretty much China and like, and like Burma. He captured what, five, six bases last turn? Intel. We built an airfield and a fort and he built an airfield. Yep, yep. We got one new air unit up at up in Aiden. We'll take a look at that. All right, let's go ahead and hop out of there. Back to the map. Let's go up to Aiden and take a look. What did we get? We got some Brewsters. All right. Some fighters. Not very useful. But hey, they don't go away. We keep them forever. I just don't know if we have any pilots to put in them. We do not. Wow. So do we get, is that, I mean, we get completely no Dutch pie pilots. Is that what the problem is? Yeah, they are not on the list. So we get no Dutch pilots. So what's the point of having Dutch aircraft if we have no pilots for, for them? That's not good. All right, just moving stuff out of the off-map bases down here in southern India and Burma. Nothing really going on in in the Bay of uh, of, uh, of 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 Bengal. Um, he took Jaffa. He did attack us here, and we fled here, um, which means this guy should get out of here. This guy should move out of here as well. This guy will move out. Let's see. Because he will not be here in one turn because it's not a road. It's a trail. So if we flip these guys over to two days, nope, we're not going to do, do that. And what's this guy? Two days. Let's go back and flip him. There's a way to play with those to get, you know, different numbers, but I don't know what it is. So, this guy's going to stay here. He can't move. I already pulled my aircraft out. I need to move these uh, ships out this turn. Everything's going to uh, Colombo. See, all those Colombo's pretty much empty of ships up for some harbor defense ships. I don't think they have enough fuel. Well, they might be able to escape up, up to, up to in the main, main, the mainland. Let's see, nothing, nothing over here going off map. It already is off map here in Africa. We got a ton of, ton of task forces all over the place here, coming and going. See, we got a bunch of them coming on, on the map as well. 
mean, there's really nothing to see all through the, the Dutch East Indies. That's pretty much all gone, except for a couple of little bases. Oxy Banduming, we want to look at that. How's that coming for us? No damage, we're up to 73% on, on the next level of forts. Okay. That's good for us. Up over here, let's see. We got this guy coming on map with some uh, air headquarters. These guys are leaving the map. Let's see, I noticed that we did unload most, a big chunk of the Highland Division. Unfortunately, it's not where I wanted it, so we have to move them. Take a couple days to rail up to, up to Perth. We should have moved up here and started unloading the rest of it. There we go, yep. Looks like it's too big to port to dock. We'll have to fix that. We also got some aircraft coming, some aircraft and some more Highland Division, the rest of it, and a bunch of aircraft here. We got ships fleeing from Perth around. After we're trying to avoid the coastline where his subs seem to be. We're going to come down here and, and around. In northern Australia. He did pursue there. Okay. One attacked. Or two attacked. One, one, one pursued. Which is bad because these guys are just stuck here. Yeah. All right. These guys aren't going to go anywhere. These, we're gonna lose all these all these air air units. That no wonder I can't get any uh, fight any aircraft going anywhere. Then I'll show you. I don't have any damn base forces to support them. I mean, and this has I mean eight really eight. That's I don't know. These oh this guy finally repaired. He's been there about about forever. Go down to Alice Springs. All right. We got a small unit here, machine gun battalion moving up. I'm not going to do shit against those tanks, so I'm probably going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stop them. I didn't realize he was just going up here so we couldn't pair, pair drop in here. But it looks like he's definitely bringing these tanks all the way down. Um, if he goes to the east to come to Cloncurkery, he, he can probably take that base. But if he comes to Alice Springs... There is no way he's taking that with those tanks. I mean, these units, I mean, I got some of my own tanks. We have some decent guns, 25 pound guns that should rip those tanks apart. We got a brigade of troops as well with 18 pounder and 2 pound AT guns. We should be able to hold our own here, plus another division here. I mean, a brigade. We should have enough troops here at, at, at Alice to hold should he come all the way down here. So, in the northeast, I don't know. I haven't seen anything out of Rockhampton. I don't have any ships. I mean, I don't have any planes to scout. I have no, re, no recon planes down here. I am escaping here. Looks like these guys are probably going to escape. I'm going to come down to this base here if he's not here. And then come down the road and the tr and the trail the train tracks here, and then probably down here to 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 Mumba. Hopefully, all these guys can escape. I got some B-17s left up here that I'm flying out, and that's pretty much going on in Australia. Not a whole lot there, although I saw a thing about here. Could be that 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 those that task force that already left. New Zealand's just North Island is gone. There's nothing I I, I, I can do. Um, slowly building up here at uh, at uh, at uh, ta, Tahiti here. We're unloading some more engineers in that here. We're probably gonna build this last level of forts and then go back to building port, so we can unload unload faster. This guy's on this task force is going to head back to the west coast. I do have some guy coming in there. Five days to Port Stanley. I'm not sure why. Oh, because he was down here. That's what it is. Okay. And that's just supplies, isn't it? Yeah, nothing big. He, he could take forever. It's not going to make it matter. Another task force arrives here at Panama. Carrying some, uh, I think these are both Catalinas. Yeah. We'll go through the canal, then head out. 
We got, let's see, three days on troops, three days on some heavy combat ships, six days on the Lexington group. Go ahead up over to China. We'll take a look. Yep. There we go. In the north, he's coming up. So I'm not sure if he's going to come over this way or up the road. Either way, he won't be all that fast. I'm assuming this is his, yep, this is his tanks. So it'll take him two or three turns to get here. We should, might be able to get out of here by, by then. We're going to need three more days to get everyone out, out, out of here. Just bringing more troops up. All right, in the south area here, still only there. He hasn't attacked again. So we were holding. We're starting to get some more supplies in. So that's good. Slowly, slow. We're getting, slops, we're getting supplies, supplies in slow, but all right, let's see. That guy's still going across the river. This guy still sitting. I can't tell if he's going up here or if, or what. I can't tell if he if he's moving or not. He doesn't have enough here to do anything. But all right, let's see how far this guy. Not very. He's gonna take a long time to come up come up here. All right, but that's pretty much the turn. If you enjoyed watching it unfold with me, please go ahead and click on the like button. If you're following along in the campaign and you have not subscribed, what are you really waiting for? I would appreciate it if you go ahead and today just go ahead and click that sub subscription button too. I would I would appreciate it. And until the next turn, you guys all have yourself a great day, and I'll see you later.